Hmm. I would start this. <laughs> Probably with a sawate or a shalom. But then, but since it's not an ordered list, then what what do I say for the next? I can't. I can't just do a funny like number ten. Okay. Shalom. This is David. Hi, David. Hi. Hello. Hi. And and so I will tell you this is There it is. All right. Sweet. I remembered. I remembered my name and my saying. So this week we wanted to <laughs> we wanted to talk with you all about uh, music, uh, specifically music that really gets your blood pumping from video games. Uh, video game fighting music, yeah. but not like not necessarily like battle music. Yeah, not Although necessarily a lot the, of the fight themes. Although a lot of these are that, let's, it's fine. Yeah. There's a, there's an overlap. This in this Venn diagram. It, it, this isn't an ordered list, but we could, we could still have numbers if we want. I mean, yeah, sure. We could have numbers, but they don't mean anything. Uh, we just, we just wanted to talk about some of these songs a whole lot. So this is our excuse to do that. Uh, let's see. Let me put them in a random order. Okay. <laughs> so this is a truly <laughs> random order. Eight. Uh, I was just kind of mashing. I was mashing the number keys. Ah, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Uh, and then I guess uh, by default, ten gets stuck at the end because uh, I could not um, double tap. Well, it's fine. <laughs> ten will be last. But okay. <laughs> number six. <laughs> okay, what is number six? Uh, number six is. Oh no, I have two sixes. Which one did I forget? Uh, <laughs> Three, three. Okay. Okay. Number six. Okay, number six. It's number six. We're gonna start with number six, which is the Equinox boss theme. Tim and Jeff Fallen. This is from Super Nintendo. If you watched our channel. Well, like you're doing now, but also in the past when we did Equinox videos so long ago. Mm -hmm. It is a very, very awesome boss fight music. Most of the soundtrack in Equinox is atmospheric electronica, but the boss fight music has very, very good use of strange sounds in like the Super Nintendo sound chip. There's like the stand, you know, you have your standard sounds that you kind of expect out of the Super Nintendo. It's right. very MIDI sounding. And then you have some specific ones, like I always associate, you know, like the timpani sound with, you know, the, uh, right. Uh, like the quintet. Well, it's, it's in the quintet uh, games, the, uh, but it's yeah, also utilized games. in Final Fantasy VI, like during the opera sure. scene. Like the. Ba -da -da -da, da -da 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 so there's those yeah. sounds, but then you don't think of like weirder, just like electronic, like whooshing and like builds and stuff. Right. Uh, which is, it's a pretty unique song in a game that is mostly forgotten, but is awesome and should go play it. You should Everybody should go it. play it, yes. You should. Uh, num uh, it's number nine is next, by the way. Oh, number nine. Oh, thank you. All right. <clears throat> so, number nine. is Apocalypse from Axiom Verge by Thomas Happ, uh, who wrote all the music and made the game by himself because he's that awesome. So Axiom Verge has a lot of like really that good... Jerk. What? That jerk. That jerk. So <laughs> how da talented. How dare he make a great thing by himself? How dare he? Ah. <laughs> um, so the music in Axiom Verge overall is phenomenal, but Apocalypse... Uh, stands out as the one that just that like gets me bobbing my head and just like yeah yeah let's let yeah it's pumping. So, uh, so much so that that's the one we did the cover of on the channel yeah which uh, we'll, I'll probably throw a clip of here because we actually did that we so. did the thing um, that was we did that one Christmas when we were both in the same city it's great uh, it is it's it's a good combination of a kind of uh, a drivey kind of riffy rock kind of sound plus the the fun uh, uh, like artifacty electronic-y stuff uh, 
in the like it, as like color and accents. It's just oh, it's so good. Uh, although our version was skewed a little bit towards more traditional metal, just slash a little bit. metalcore, so a little bit of the, yeah. There, there's a definite flavor to the original. Uh, hey, guess what's next? It's number one. Number one is next. Okay. We had a agreement <laughs> where we were only going to pick one from each. <laughs> At first, it was series, but we'll ignore that for now. Uh, it... Uh, it... Let's talk about the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game and soundtrack that is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Revengeance is itself a perfect, perfect word and encapsulates the beauty of this game. Yes. And the soundtrack is amazing. And I love yes. all of it. And you should listen to all of it. Uh, you're like, Rules of Nature, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your, your contender was, uh, was the only thing I'll, uh, I've ever known, which is uh, uh, Sam's uh, theme. Uh, but we're going to go with uh, A Strange I Remain, which is Mistral's theme. That one I like so much that I uh, learned how to play it on piano. Maybe I'll cut that in. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll cut that in. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, oh, this this song is great. Uh, also, just as a side note. It is great because also the lyrics, there's lyrics and lyric lists versions of the music that plays when Mm -hmm. you're doing boss fights, but the lyrics and the chorus only hits at the killing blow. It's like, and it it is timed specifically. So you go in for like the last phase beat down and then the lyric version will kick in. It is sublime. Yes, it is. It is a phenomenal combination and of that is why composition it is and execution. One. It is that is <laughs> why it is one. our no. number one. Uh, who was the one who wrote that one? Uh, oh, I looked it up on uh, Wikipedia. It says it's Logan Mater and Jamie Christopherson, right? Uh, which I think did most of the soundtrack. I don't right. know exactly who did what for things, or if there was like a. Japanese composers that also helped with it or not. I'm, I'm not sure. My, You're, that's what the internet is for. My <laughs> understanding that is that Logan Mater was the metal stuff and the other guy was the electronica stuff. Okay. That is maybe a theme we'll uh, revisit in one of our future uh, future lists. Maybe. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Is next, by the okay, way. thank you. Uh, number eight is from Undertale. Let's see if I can say it. It's Bergen Trokund slash Asgore. Uh, by Toby Fox is the composer of that one. He is also another game made mostly by one person. Uh-huh. It's, it is his game. Yes. Uh, so this, while a lot of people, when they think of Undertale, they think of Megalovania, which is the genocide boss fight um, song. This is the one... I would know because I've never done a genocide fight. <laughs> right, because we're not monsters. Not monsters, uh, yeah. I've only heard it, you know, from other people doing covers of it. But uh, Asgore specifically, like, it is everything I like in a high-energy, uh, like, final boss fight kind of thing where it starts with the, the simple theme... The ba 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 ba, and then how, it, and how do you make it? How do you make it more energetic? You add a baseline and you add drums, and you're good. <laughs> that's true. Because if your hook is solid, that's that's it. And then it expands. There's a lot more to it. But as many times as I did that stupid fight trying to figure out how to not kill Asgore at the end because I was trying to do the pacifist thing and I didn't know I never got tired of hearing that song never once so that is an indication that it is a it is a good boss theme because I listened to it for like 20 total minutes playing that game while frustrated and I never once thought can I just listen to something else <laughs> speaking of something else something number else. two <laughs> number two is number two is next yes Lo- again long time viewers of the <laughs> of the channel know that we already love this game and this song because we, we made a a fantastic music video of it it's not metal enough one two ready go yeah. 
which you can actually just go watch, watch it's yeah. on the channel it is it is taste the blood from devil may cry 3 you know the good devil may cry game i like dmc but the good devil may cry game <laughs> yeah the best one yes the best one the best yeah. one the, the uh, one that unequivocally from, uh, is just great from a uh, hostile groove i think is the name of the guy who did it i don't know the name of the japanese composer i, I assume it's a collaboration kind of thing but oh, I, I thought definitely it was, i thought it was the guy who did the uh the heavy metal chocobo thing I think so. The, the sh I think it's Shooty HG. Shooty HG. Is what he goes what by. Is. Yeah. But HG is for Hostile Groove, I think. Oh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure all of that is correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Taste, Taste the Blood is the um, first half of the game. I think it's the first half. So, like, Mission 1 through 11. Uh, Dante's battle music. So I, th I think you do get a, a second battle theme when you get to the second half of the game, mm -hmm. and then I think other characters have their own music. But I think so. Yeah. This is the one that you hear most frequently. It's the one that sticks out the most in the mind. It has the best, most appropriate lyrics for <laughs> a fighting song about a half demon man killing demon things in a demon tower, fighting his demon brother. Yes, it is. It is beautiful and perfect. Those lyrics much, are just much on like point. My, much like my opinion on the storyline of Doom and Doom 2 being mm. perfect and flawless and appropriate. Not deep nor complicated, but yeah. appropriate and perfect for the game. Uh, the lyrics on this is just, it's, it's, it's about fighting and like stabbing <laughs> and like getting mad and fighting some more and then like demons and then shooting and then yeah like yeah i can get behind this yeah uh so yeah so you can go listen to our version of it also i added uh <laughs> i was inspired because i wanted to add a third verse to it so i i try i tried to cre i created a third verse that's like in the spirit of the original that I, that I am actually very proud of and that's not sarcasm which is weird weird indeed Number number three is actually next. Oh, oh okay. No, there's, there's a little bit of order to these. Yeah, well, you know bit. that can happen sometimes. So I'm the the next song is number three, uh, Frog's theme from Chrono Trigger. Uh, so I'm not talking about an indie game made by almost exclusively one person. Uh, this one was written by Yasunori Mitsuda. Uh, this is there's the so many good Mitsuda songs. There's so many good Mitsuda songs, but this is this is the one yes, specifically we had to focus. from we had to my focus childhood. For this particular, yes. That when I think about the song that made me just go, F yeah, it was this one. Now I didn't say that because I was like like 11, but whatever. <laughs> no, I was nine Please. when we got this game. Never mind, it was my ninth birthday, huh? But you thought it. I did. Yeah. I just like I thought a swear and it was, it was so mm -hmm. awesome I thought a swear. Mm -hmm. Um it was uh, first of all, Mitsuda's approach to composition is a lot of fun. Um A Bit Theory went over like how it's non uh non functional harmony for most of the uh, most of it, and he makes it just straight up work, which is always fun because it's hard to do. Um but also, he's real big on, uh, like, themes fitting the character just about perfectly. And Frog's theme is, is super that. And all of Chrono Trigger has great themes for certain characters. But this is the one that is just like, he cuts a mountain in half. And you're just like, yes, he did. And that's the right song for that. Mm -hmm. Go, go, little frog boy, go. <laughs> Next is number four. It, it kind of seems like that would come after number three. But I assure yeah. you that the, the randomness of the universe is still intact. Right. But number four <laughs> uh, is it's like four and also four and a half because I couldn't pick like, like <laughs> we had an agreement that it was only one like Contra has so much good music. Right. But there's certain ones that stand out as being, let's say, more energetic, the encourage you to uh, shoot well. That's right. Like a number of these, a number of these do. Uh, so, I, but I also wanted to kind of like shine light on maybe some of the parts of Contra that are oft ignored because there there's a lot of good and crap Contra 
in the world. Good yeah. being, you know, like the original Contra and Super C, uh, and then crap being like, you know, see the Contra Adventure and the PlayStation 1 Contra games. Mm-hmm. But there's a Contra game for the Genesis called Hardcore, which is the reason that the Genesis is not a complete lost cause <laughs> as a system and a sound chip. <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you doing? I mean, it's coming Sonic, right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So, okay. But I, we're, yeah, look, we, don't okay. Have, we, we don't have to talk about Genesis Mega Drive. I'm going to table that discussion. <laughs> it's, it's the sound chip's fault, not the music's it's, fault. The sound chip is bad. <laughs> the sound chip works with this music, uh, which is like elect- electronica. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, is the first level theme specifically is the one that I remember. It's... It's just very good to listen to. It's very good in context because it's the treasure style, which I think of some treasure people started here. And you can see the the treasure style of which we've played. Of, well, we played Gradius Five, which they did, but they also right. did, I think, Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar and, Heroes is treasure. Uh, yeah. Alien Vader. Alien. Crap, I don't remember the name of that other weird Genesis game they did. But there's mm. there's a, there, the treasure style is lots and lots of boss fights, like constant boss fights, which is all of Contra Hardcore. It's constant mini boss, mini boss, mini boss, boss right. fight, boss fight, boss fight. Uh, and the music is great in that game. And there's a lot of it, but that first song that I think is just called Hardcore or the Hardcore Level One theme is very good. But I really love. Shattered Soldier so much on the PS2, and I can't not pick something from that. And you'd think, <laughs> you'd think, oh, Jeff, you who loves both metal and also Silent Hill, you're probably going to pick one of the metal songs made by Akariyama Oka because the soundtrack for Shattered Soldier was done by two people: it was by Soda Fujimura and Akariyama Oka. Uh, Akariyama Oka, of which did the metal stuff, which is just just great crunchy metal. Mm-hmm. And then Soto Fujimori, who did the electronica stuff. But no, I say no. Battle Train. It has to be Battle Train because Battle Train is so dope. Battle Train is a dope song. It's so good. Uh, and th- I'm counting this as four and a half because, like, you you could probably mash them up, and I'll see if I maybe I'll cut that in. I'll just mash <laughs> up the the hardcore level one theme, and I just kind of just like I'll just kind of sprinkle it right on top of old Battle Train. <laughs> Battle Train is great. Soto Fujimori does a lot of Beat Mania music mm-hmm. for Konami back when Konami made video games instead of poor decisions. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's fine. That's fine. Those are great songs. Yes. Which is after number four is number seven. All right. Number seven is Quad Machine from Quake 2. by Sonic Mayhem slash Sasha Dekishin. I said his last name wrong. Uh, Probably. He goes by Sonic Mayhem. Uh, so this is... All right, I have a confession. Mm-hmm. I have played about Is your confession hour? that Quake 2 is better than Quake 1? You are correct. No, I, I was going to say I've played about an hour of Quake 2, unless that's the game that all of us like played through together at one point. Whatever. I didn't I play did. a lot of Quake 2. Um, I played a lot of Quake 2, but go on. But I know all the music from Quake 2 because it's awesome. And Quad Machine is one of the first songs where it's just like, I have to learn how to play this on guitar. Like, I just have to, I have to learn this. 
there's there's no other option here. I just have to sit down and figure out how to play. So like it was bad. I was terrible at it because this was like 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, somewhere in that range. But it was just like, oh, it's just a song that just makes you, yeah, yeah, time to shoot some strokes. Let's do this. I'm playing through the song in my head at the moment. Yes, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's such a it's good, very good song. There, oh. there is there is live footage out there on the internet somewhere of uh, playing a medley of Quake 2 songs with me, my brother, and uh, dad. Right. Will, will you uh, share I, with everybody what it was called? I, uh, it was called Straga Side. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay. Uh, it was a, a medley from Quake 2. Very good. <sighs> so Again, good. That is a very fun song to play. I like quad machines. Quad Look, machines are great. People great think song. of Quake music and they think of uh, Trent Reznor's sad- soundtrack to Quake One. Uh, I don't, because Quake One is fine. It's revolutionary technologically, whatever. It's also just kind of like, uh, like bad first edition D and D. Call of Cthulhu just kind of pull a pot together. Uh, wow, you were just is, you're just Look, pissing Quake off two everybody. Is, Quake Two is not some sort of. Um, magnificent storytelling <laughs> it's it is completely unrelated and probably should have been called something else to be fair right uh, then these these arguments would be completely moot because quake 3 has nothing to do with quake 2 or quake 1 and quake 4 is the sequel to quake 2 and quake 1 had expansion but these yeah it's just names just name recognition right. these the series has nothing to do with itself so it's actually kind of a silly argument to make but i digress because we have number five, which is mm, of all the Final Fantasy songs, <laughs> of which there are like 700, and Nobu Uematsu is great, and he wrote many of them. Yes. And I had to pick one because of our weird constraints we put on ourselves. Right. It has to be this one. Fantasy Ten is great. This is not this is not the best song in Final Fantasy Ten, which is of course Dizanarkand. Right. Uh, but this is not a song about like the most emotionally resonant music that you've ever heard, which that'd be a contender. We'll maybe right. do a different list on that. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. just you know this is just awesome music, and the game starts with a blitzball match. And this is the song that plays, and is composed by Nobu Yamatsu. It wasn't composed by someone else. It wasn't like he contributed some songs, and they were like the melodic songs. And then this one was the one that someone else was brought in to do. It is a, it is an awesome death metal song, and I was like, yes, Nobu, you have my, you have my heart. Here, take, <laughs> take my heart, take my heart. <laughs> Uh, and, and uh, lyrics, lyrics that are appropriate and maybe even better than the "Taste the Blood" lyrics, as far as <laughs> as far as context. There's like a spoken word section in the middle with a ripping guitar solo on the <laughs> going on behind, <laughs> uh, and it plays while this guy who's inside a water bubble plays water soccer, and then his entire world is destroyed by a sea monster leviathan thing. It is great. Final Fantasy X is really, really good. And his name should be pronounced Titus because it's like Tide because of water. I'm just saying. Otherworld is great. I can still hear the opening of that song. Just at, at any time, I can just recall it. It's it's just there. It's just available. Uh, la- but last on the list is of course number, number 10. ten. So number ten is uh, we're bending the rules a little bit because little, it's the same there are person, so many, but... so many Final <laughs> Fantasy songs. It's a uh, different game. It is a different game. So I was I was torn between 
uh, like three different songs uh, from the Final Fantasy catalog. Uh, but I ended up going with, it is sometimes called Battle at the Big Bridge or Clash on the Big Bridge or The Battle with Gilgamesh. But it's the one that has the super sweet arpeggio intro from Final Intro Intro from Final Fantasy yes. V. It is, it is the song that just as soon as you start hear it, you're just like everybody shut up. Yes, yeah, just yep, we're, mm-hmm. we're just gonna listen to this. We're just gonna this go through. It's now. gonna be great. I, I I head banged my hold on my crap. <laughs> what did you just? My do? headphones are gone. <laughs> Keep talking. Uh, so it is it is a it is a song that is both. Phenomenal on the uh, Electronica. Recovered. Okay, it's phenomenal on the Electronica synthesizer kind of thing that is, you know, chip tunes on Super Nintendo games kind of thing. It is phenomenal as a heavy metal song. It is phenomenal as a or- orchestrated piece. The whole thing is just great. It is a fun song from beginning and end. It helps that Gilgamesh is amazing. Uh, and is one of the best parts of Final Fantasy V, which is the goofiest Final Fantasy in the best kind of way. It was before they decided they needed to be serious, and they're like, let's make a Saturday morning cartoon as a Final Fantasy. By the way, here's this awesome song. I don't know, they were trying to be serious in 4 and also 2. So. Right, but 5 was when they were just like, all right, we're, we're going to be funny. And then afterwards, they're like, let's never do that again. Let's let's just let's just try to let's just try to really hammer down on the seriousness. Where five was just like, we're gonna have a talking turtle, and the main character is going to be a homeless idiot whose name is Butts or Burts or Barts, <laughs> and he has annoyingly um, lying green shoes. Uh, excuse, like excuse me, excuse me, David. I use the original Japanese name, okay, and his name is Butsu, okay. <laughs> Uh, I cannot listen to your dirty American English mispronouncing a beautiful name like that. Aerith. <laughs> now I want to fight you. I know you're joking. I want to fight you. It's so. Listen, Internet, it's just you and me here. Dave is not here right now. It doesn't really matter. But use the name that's localized. Like, localization is underappreciated. They take it is it's there's an important job to be done. Also, you don't call Terra Tina, so don't call Eris Aerith. The end. That's the end. That's all we need to say. And look, we made it to the end. <laughs> we made it to the end of the video. Wait, wait, I'm back. What I miss? What I miss? Uh oh, right. Oh, I was we're we're wrapping it up. So you're doing like a advertising thing, and then uh, we say goodbye, and then we go play Monster Hunter. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if you've enjoyed this content, feel free to go to our Patreon, where you can support us monthly. If not that, uh, one time tip at PayPal is also perfectly great. Or just you know tell people about the video like comment subscribe all that stuff uh if there are certain songs you think are really awesome battle themes go ahead and put them in the comments like that call to action that call to action because i also just need other fun things to listen to while i'm at work and video game music tends to not have lyrics so i don't have to worry about that although a lot of the ones on this list do actually have lyrics a lot of them do yeah it's strange Uh, other world has lyrics. Let's see. Uh, uh, Taste the blood. Stranger remain. Okay, eh, it's not that many. The it's ones fine. I picked don't have lyrics. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, the end. The yes. end. Uh, also, just as an aside, if you like this kind of content, the the list stuff that we've done this time and, and last time, let us know. Like we're trying uh, something yeah, new. Because we could. Yeah, we don't. We don't have to keep doing it. Or we could. Or it's we fine. could do a lot more anyway. of them. It just depends on what y'all like. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. We'll never, we'll never no, escape. No, no. Don't make me say I can't. I can't go back. Now. <laughs> Unless. Unless. I did, I did get the prepare to die again. Uh, yeah. Mod working. Oh, you did? I did. Ooh. That might, that, that might, might pull back me in. back under. Yeah. Pull me under. Pull me Pull under. Pull me under. That's right. We should have included that in the list. <laughs> we should have included that in the list. 
I'll but go we back can and just pull like me when, under in there. when we say pull me under a few times, you can just splice to it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start recording now. <laughs>